hello guys this is my friend and welcome back once again to another exciting tutorial today we are doing an editable mock-up from scratch using photoshop and blender we start with blender do our modeling add some materials and lighting and then we will render our final image as an open asr format we then head over to photoshop do some compositing and add some smart objects for easy editing of our background our bottle and then our label it's going to be a very long one full of fun without further ado let's jump right into it and get started so i'm going to hit general to and i'll greet with my default cube my light and then my camera all right first of all let's do x and delete our light you can see the key bindings that i press right inside this corner here so let's continue let's click this and then delete it do shift a go to mesh and then let's add a circle okay so this is what we are going to use to create our bottle so let's hit tab to go into edit mode and then go to edge select mode so that we can select these edges these individual edges so I'll hold alt click to select everything right then do e for extrude now i'll tap z to 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 keep it on the z axis so i'll go up somewhere like this i'll do g and then z to bring it up a bit okay i'll do e again z and then i'll extrude it to somewhere here i'll do hold s i'll tap s for scale and i'll scale it down like this i'll do e c and then bring it up like this once again okay so let's seal the bottom part and to do that i'll hold alt and click on one of these edges now i'll do e s then i'll bring it in i'll do g z and bring it up a little bit so i'll do e s again and then e s okay let's do ctrl z make sure this is our last our last extrusion so i'll bring it in a bit so i'll do g z and then i'll bring it in a bit and then i'll do e s once again and then i'll bring it down like this let's go to our faces grid fill and then fill it with our grid so let's make this part into to there's a lot of polygons here so let's decrease the spine to something like four and it'll be fine so four is it's okay so we have our bottom fill let's 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 select let's hold alt and then click on this part to select this section and then let's do control control and let's do control b for bevel so scroll up your mouse wheel to add more loops so i'm adding four loops here so i'm going to bevel it to something like this yes i think it's fine then let's let's bevel the let's bevel the bottom part so control click select this part and then control b and bevel let's decrease to something like three okay so when you are done beveling you can obviously come here to 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 adjust your bevel just the way you want it so you can add segments or remove segments here you can mess around with the shape of the bevel right or you can increase the width obviously or decrease it as you want okay so our bottle is ready so i'll right click and do shade smooth and then I'll go to my modifier tab. Then we add a subdivision surface modifier to our bottle. Okay. So we do we tab into edit mode once again. Control R to add a loop cut. I'll click here. Then I'll bring it down like this. Okay. I'll tab out of edit mode. Go to my modifier tab. Then add a solidifier modifier. We are just trying to add a thickness to our bottle. Okay, but it's not like that thin, so we need to add some thickness. So when we add the solidify, we first need to add the solidify before we add the subdivision. So we are going to change. We are going to change 
<coughs> Sorry. So we are going to change how it stacks, how we stack the modifier. So we bring, we click and drag the solidifier up. Just change. So we have something like this. So we tap into edit mode once again. Alt R for Control R for our loop cut. And then we bring it up like this. Okay, so let's increase the thickness to something like 0.4. So you can obviously you can do 0 0.04 that's fine okay let's tap out of edit mode once more let's, so we have something like this so out of edit mode we are going to apply our solidify so that we can we can adjust the inner parts of our of our bottle so so hit here and then apply to so apply my solidify modifier. So when we tap into edit mode now, you can see we have the inner uh, geometry and then the outside as well. So after that, let's quickly rename this to bottle. Right. Now let's go to our top view by clicking on the z here let's zoom in like this okay so we change our our select tool to select circle and then we are going to select make sure we are the face light mode hold shift and then let's select this inner part right here now we need to see through so let's change it to a wireframe mode okay and then we are going to add the selection we have to select or we need to select all these bottom parts here so to, to easily do that we are going to add our selection so we go to our select we go to select more so this is the shortcut here control numpad plus or you can easily add it to your quick favorites so that you can easily click it so we use q so in this case i've added it to my quick favorites so to add more to my selection now you just hit q and i'll do more q more q more then q once again so now i have all the bottom inner parts selected right so i'll do g z to bring it up a little a little bit and then i'll do s for scale so i'll scale it in just a little that's fine so I'll, I'll continue to select more of of the inner parts i want to do the juice inside of the bottle so i'll do i'll hit my q and then i'll select more so i'm satisfied so um, this is the level i want my juice to be at obviously so i'll do shift d to duplicate right I'll right click to keep it in place so i'll hit p and then i'll go to separate by these parts okay so now we have two objects here we have photo 001 so i'll tap out of edit mode i'll go to my solid view and then go to my second bottle which is the inner part i'll double click and then i'll name it juice okay so i'll tap into edit mode once no sorry i'll tap into edit with my juice selected i'll hit l to isolate it okay not l sorry i hit slash to isolate it then i'll tap into edit mode make sure i change this to my tweak and then to add select or hold alt and click on this section and then we're going to fill this up so we do e s to bring it in e s once again to bring it in and then we do G to bring it down a little like this. Let's select this part only Alt click. And then I'll do G Z to bring it down a bit. So I'll select this part once again. Alt click, select all this part. Then we go to our faces, then great fill. So let's change this part to four once again. Then hit OK. So I'll select this 
all these edges like this now do control b to bevel it a little so i'll scroll my mouse wheel to three 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 segments i think it's fine now i'll bring it to something like this okay so i'll hit my slash once again to bring everything in so now we have our juice inside of our bottle so let's go into our wireframe mode and let's hit l to make sure all our juice is selected let's go to front view okay and let's kill it let's kill our juice a little so that it's falling right inside of the walls of our bottle so we do s for scale and then we hold shift so we scale it just a little so you can see we are scaling point zero one point we are actually scaling it exactly point zero point zero zero two okay so i'll tap out of edit mode mode to object mode i'll change to my solid viewport then we are done with our bottle we are done with our juice and then our bottle okay so let's go back to our bottle so i'll tap into edit mode I'll add a loop cut right somewhere here. I'll do control B to bevel. I'll scroll my mouse wheel to any just two loop cuts. I'll select my I'll extrude along the mouse. Then I'm going to extrude it outside once. And then uh, this is too much. Two. Yeah, I think that's fine. So this is what we have. This is the lid part of our bottle. This is where the the cup will lie. So I'll, let's create our, our cup very quickly. I'll hold Alt click to select this loop here. Shift D to duplicate. And then I'll do P and then I'll separate by loose part. Okay. So we have another part here. So let's name it cup okay so let's jump into it edit mode by hitting tab select everything then let's do g gz to bring it up a little like this okay so let's do e s to to easy to extrude it like this and let's do shift d once again to duplicate the top the top ring do g z to bring it up a little like this then let's do e z to bring it up like this okay let's do e s e s once again something like this and then let's fill it up with our good fill so i'm going to increase decrease my span to four okay so I'll control click on this part and then I'll do control B to bevel. Sorry, alt click to select the loop. Control B for bevel. So we have something like this. Okay. So I'll tap out of edit mode to my object mode. I'll right click and do shade smooth. So now let's hit slash to isolate our cap. Okay. So let's add some thickness to it. So to do that jump into edit mode click a to select all and then we are going to extrude along the mouse so extrude so now when we are trying to extrude you can see the problem you're having now the, the the bottom part is extruding inside while the outside part is extruding outside so to fix this it is something that has to do with the normal so to, to fix this issue it's very simple so let me alt z and then Let's go into our let me hit this face orientation so you can see this part is red and then this part is blue, right? So this part is facing outside whilst this part is facing inside. So we have to make all the normals to face at one direction. So with all of them selected, do Alt N and then we are going to recalculate outside. So now everything is facing at the same direction. So now if I extrude. But I want to extrude inner, right? So if I extrude, it's facing the same direction, but it's still red. 
So we still do out n again. Then we flip. We do alt n again, and then we wrap. We select everything, alt n, and then we recalculate outside. So we have the blue space outside. That's nice. So let's hit slash once again to bring everything. Let's check. Let's quickly check our juice slash. No slash. Sorry. Let's quickly check our juice. So I'll do slash, and then let's check if the normals are facing the right place. So as you can see, it's red. So we tap into edit mode. Make sure everything is selected. Then we do Alt N. Then we recalculate outside. So now that we have a perfect normal to work with. So I'll hide this real quick. And then we tap, and then we bring everything up. So everything is set. So let's quickly add our mesh plane. Let me, sc let me scroll and then. Okay. So I'll select this part. And then I'll do EZ to bring it up like this. And then I'll select this, Control B to add more cuts. I'll scroll my mouse wheel to add more loop cuts. I tap out of edit mode and do shade smooth. Okay. So now let's set up our scene real quick. Now I'm going to drag this this part here. So this part is, is going to be where our camera is. So I'll hit my camera view. I'll scroll to zoom in a bit. I'll tap N to bring out this options. Then we go to view and then camera to view. So we are going to lock our camera to view so that the camera doesn't move. We so that we are able to position our our juice bottle how we like inside our viewport. Okay. So I think it's fine. We're going to hide this one and then this one. Now hit T to hide this two here. Yeah. Okay. So let let me go to my render engine, change it to cycles. Then I'll change my device to GPU compute. So by the way, I'm doing this on a laptop, sixteen sixty Ti. So make sure you have a graphic card that supports. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my viewport shading mode, as you can see. So we don't have any light in our scene. So let's quickly add a an HDRI. So I'll go to Shader Editor, Object, Well, okay. Make sure you have your Node Wrangler add on enabled. If you don't, quickly go to Edit, Preference, and then you search for Node Wrangler and make sure you as you take here to to enable it. Okay. So with your Node Wrangler add on enabled, you change this to Well to Weld. Select the background and do Control T, so it will set up these nodes for you, which will, will make it very easy to add an HDRI to your scene. So to add an HDRI, you, you hit Open in the parameter textures. I already have some HDRIs I've downloaded. If you don't, just head over to uh, polyhavens.com, I guess. You will find some sweet, cool, beautiful HDRIs to work with. So I'm going to bring in this Photo Studio here. So I'll do Open. Then I've added it so you can see our HDRI is now lighting our scene. So if I zoom out, you can see so this is where we are getting our light from. We're getting our light from the environment. Cool. So let me zoom in once again. So let's quickly add up add our, our materials. So I'll select my photo. And then I'll change this to objects. I'll do new. To add the principal BSDF shader, BSDF node shader. Okay. So I'll increase my transmission to one. And then IOR, I'll do 1.5, I guess. I'll decrease my roughness to almost zero. And then I'll change my base color to pure white. So we now have a reflective glass, as you can see. 
here. Okay. We now have a reflective glass. Let's add a material to our cup. So new. We're not going to change anything. I'm just going to increase the roughness a bit to let's say 0 0.3 to 0.3. And that's all. So now let's go to our juice. Okay. So we add new. We're going to increase the transmission to one. The IOR, I want to set it to 1.33. So you can go on Google and then search IOR of any liquid or any material you want to work with. So each material comes with their own IORs. Okay, so you can search that up and then find something that works for you. I'm going to do roughness to almost 0 0.0001. Okay. And then, so we have this. So now this is like pure water or something, pure liquid water. Okay. But we need to add our juice. Obviously, this is not the juice. So let me bring this somewhere here. Change the base color to yellow, orange. But then it's still, the inside is still transparent, which is not how juice should look like. Okay. So to solve that, I'm going to add a volume, a volume, a principal volume shader to it. And then, so that the inside parts will, will, will fill properly. Okay, so we do shift A. So let's search for volume. And then we do principal volume. Okay. So we put our volume into volume here. And then we change our color to some juice like color. Like this. And then we change our density to two. I think two is fine. Okay. So now it's almost dark. Yeah. The reason is now our volume when we go to our light path. So you go to our render light path. Our volume is not bouncing any light as, as such now. It's not accepting any light inside. So that's why it's dark. So let's increase it to I think 12 will work. So now you see it's it's lighter. Okay. Let's increase our our value here to one. So something like this. So this this our juice. You can see it's now filled, not transparent as it used to be. So if I unplug our volume, right? This is what we have before. And if I unplug my volume, we have after like this. Okay, so this the results we are looking for. Okay. So let me select my so we are done with our juice. Let me select my backdrop. Let me rename it quickly to bulk BG. Fine. And then let's add a material. Let's increase the roughness a bit. And then I'll make it a little bit darker. Yes, I think that's fine. So now let's let's add a, a little bit of light to our scene to make it more reflective. Make our glass more reflective and dynamic. Okay, so I'll do Shift A. I'll add a plane. I'll do G Z to bring it up. Then I'll scale it on the Y axis. So I'll do S Y. Then I'll scale it like this. Okay. Then I'll add a new shader. I'm going to make the emission to white. Then increase the strength to two. Okay. So it's emitting a light. So I'll do G to bring it to somewhere here. Now I'll rotate it on the X axis 90. Okay. So G, I'll bring it out. Then I'll increase my emission. All right. So I'll do S and then I'll scale it on the X axis a bit like this. So we have a reflection going on here. GZ. Bring it down like this. I'll do Shift D to duplicate our light. And I'll bring it here. 
So we have some cool reflections going on here and then here. I'll do Shift A, and then I'm going to add a new area of light. Do G Z, bring it up, and I'll bring it in front here. I'll do S to scale it up like this. Now point it right to this side. We'll go to light. Then let's increase the power to 100. I think it's, we need, let's say 1000. 1000 is too much. 200 is fine. Let's change the shape to disk. Yes. Okay. Okay, so our juice is ready for render. So we are going to save it and then move it right into Photoshop and create smart objects so that we can easily change our colors. Our, our our label and then the background okay so the way to do that is we are going to render multiple passes so we we'll go to our 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 layer view properties then we're going to select our glossiness direct glossiness indirect and then color okay and then we we'll go to our crypto mat. this will help us this, the crypto mat will help us with Make masking objects and then selection. We are going to select objects and then maybe materials. But objects, even objects is fine. But let's select objects and materials. So glossiness, we will we take indirect, direct, and then color. Okay. So next, we go to our camera. So we select our camera here. Then we go to our camera settings. We are not going to change much here. Change everything is fine. Let's go to our render cycles. So you can obviously change your max samples if you want to hire samples. Yeah, but I'm not going to do this for the sake of the tutorial. You can it's something you can play with. Okay, so color management. You can change your color management as well. You can change the look to let's say maybe medium contrast, high contrast. So play around and find what works best for you. When you are done with everything. You go to your render, render image. And then you allow your image to render. So if you come here, you can see we have combined, we have gloss direct, gloss indirect, we have gloss color, crypto mask object, and then the rest. Okay. So I'll allow my, I'll post, allow my object to render. After that, we will we'll go, we we'll go into Photoshop and then continue from there. Hi guys, so our render is done. As you can see, you can if you go to the side, we have combined, we have gloss direct, gloss indirect, and then we have gloss color. Okay, we also have crypto max objects. We we'll use this for our masking and cropping of our objects inside of Photoshop. Okay, we are going to do our compositing, our final compositing right inside of Photoshop with the help of a plugin called OpenESR.io. So just hit here. And grab your your copy of the plugin, install it, and it will be integrated into your Photoshop. Okay. So let, let's come to our back to our render and let's save our image into a multiple. So we go to save us, right? So format we open we, we select open as a multi-layer like this. So I will save this, this on my desktop. I'll create a new layer. I'll do Juice. I'll open it up. And then I'll rename it to Juice. Like this. Okay, so Juice ESR. Make sure you save it as Open ESR multi-layer. So that we'll be able to composite our final image inside the shop. So we do save as image. So next, let's open up our Photoshop. So to compose your final file inside of Photoshop, what you have to do is you open up your Photoshop. Make sure you have you have installed the plugin I showed you earlier on. This plugin, make sure you have it installed and it's, it's up, taking up your Photoshop. So you open up your Photoshop, you go to Files, then you go to Open As, then we select our GIFs, ESR.io. Like this, then you hit open. Okay, so you'll be greeted with this. This from the plugin. Make sure 
you leave everything as default and then you hit open so it will take some time and photoshop will do its magic so you can see it's now open here because we, we, need, we have to add a little bit of adjustments to brighten up everything or brighten up our scene and everything so if you look at your layers i'm going to bring this right up here you can see we have some layers created we have our combined rgb we have gloss color gloss direct and then gloss indirect okay, we have noise image which we are not going to use so we'll hit delete to delete it so we have our three objects here we have our bottle our background and then our cap okay so this will help us with our masking of our individual objects so as you can see if i hold control if i hold control and then i click you can see the bottle is selected with the cap the cap is selected which is control d to deselect i will control click you can see our background is selected then if i do control click that's it. only the bottle is selected here so this will help us with masking of our individual shape and then separation of our shape okay so to continue let's quickly combine composite our image so the format is very important this our combined rgb will be at the last like this and then our gloss color will follow and then we have our direct and then indirect okay so the direct will change the blend mode from normal to linear dodge and then we control click on these two and then we do control g to group them okay and then we will, multip we will multiply them on our gloss color like this okay so we do control g once again and then we will do a linear dodge on the combined rgb okay so let me open it up first is gloss direct over indirect after that we group them gloss direct will be linear dodge over indirect after that we group them and then we change our group to multiply and then we group the three the, the three the two ones again into a new group and then we change it to linear dodge like this okay over the combine so with this our linear dodge we can change and convert it to smart objects and then we call it highlight light nice so, so now everything we do in between this will, 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 will be everything we do will be in between these two layers the combined rgb and then the highlight okay so let's quickly add some adjustment just to brighten up our scene a little bit so modern contrast and brightness and then I'll add some hue saturation. So I'll increase the saturation a bit like this. Let me increase my brightness up a little. Something like this. You can change, you can play around obviously to find something that works for you. But I think this is fine for now. So now let's work on our background. To do that, I'm going to click my shape tool like this. I'll click and drag the shape now bring it just in the middle and top like this okay i'll change my blend mode to to multiply just like this okay so now if i change my background i can easily change my background to any color i want but let's mask out our bottle out of our background so to do that we go to our background crypto mat objects control click to select like this so we select our our rectangle this that we just created and then we hit we hit mask to add a new mask to our our bottle so now if we change now if you change it to any color our bottle will not be affected okay but this part needs to be transparent as well so we need to subtract it from our mask all right so how we are going to do that is we are going to make a selection around our bottle so all right choose my pen tool then i'm going to select this part out 
Okay. Sorry. So basically, we are going to make a selection around that part. And let's make sure our shape is not selected. Okay. So let me do this once again, real quick. Feel me that very that precise. Just have to make sure that part is selected. Then we make a selection. Nice. We we'll select our mask. I'll choose my brush. Very soft one will do. Then I'll color. Increase my brush here. Then I'll color all these parts out. Do Shift T now. So now when we change our background to any color of our choice, you will see the uh, transparency as well. Okay. So next, let's let's select our our juice and then give it another different color. To do that, I'll select my pen tool once again, and then I'll make sure I have my two selected. Have my selection around my juice like this. You don't have to be precise because we have our Sorry. Oh, I'm doing. I'm making the mistake once again. Let me undo. Let me quickly undo. Make sure you don't have the rectangle selected. So let's name it as BG, and then let's lock it for now. So now we can make edits to it. So I'll select my pen tool once again. Click and drag. And then hit on this side. Okay, so you have the top part selected. The other part doesn't have to be that much precise. And then I'll return it into shape. So I'll bring it in between our highlight and then I'll combine. And now we can change the color to any color you want. And it's going to affect only the drink. As you can see. So you can play with the blend modes to see something to find something that works. So I think linear dodge is fine. Well, obviously with a decreased. So now you can change the color of your juice to anything you want. If you want mango juice or something, you can do that. Okay, so let's mask out the other parts. So let's make sure our shape is selected. Let's look for our bottle, control click to select our bottle. Then with our shape selected, we hit mask to mask the other parts out. Okay, so now you can name this um, juice color. Color. And then we have our background, we have our juice color, and then let's do last one for our label. Okay, so let's do our label is we select our rectangle our rectangle, then somewhere here we drag it like this, and then we convert it to smart objects like that. Okay, so after we've converted it into smart object, we select it and then we transform and then we do warp so that it conforms to the angle of the bottle. Okay, so I'm just bringing this up to make sure it's 
is it goes round just as the bottle does so the same angle as the bottle just like this okay after that i'll hit select you can select you can mask it out again by looking for a bottle control click to select a bottle like this then go back to our rectangle we just created then we hit mask to mask it okay so we can rename this to label now let's bring it in between our highlights and then our, our combine so now if you double click here you can obviously make changes here so i'm going to hide this layer for now and then i'm going to create my juice test so let's do juice can't see because it's very small let me increase it like this so if i do control s to save this juice up and then i come here you can see it's nicely on our bottle okay so you can easily change the label as well it's locked sorry you can open it and then you can change your color so now with the help of smart objects everything is now editable and easy so the same thing apply to the the bottle cup if you want pretty easy so to do the bottle cup let's select our rectangle shape too let's click and drag around the bottle now let's change the color to something we want okay now let's look for our cup crypto match object control click like this Let's go back to the rectangle and then hit on add layer mask. Okay, so our layer mask is added. So let's bring it in between the highlights, just below the highlights. And then we have our bottle selected easily. So let's name this to cup color. Okay, so when you double click on this, you can easily change the color of your cup as well. So let me go with black for now. Just play around and find something that works best for you. So after you're done with everything, I do Shift Control S, obviously, and do a PSD object, and then let's do Save. Nice and easy. So you can hand this over to your co-designer if it's in search of in need of a mockup or something, or you can produce it and then sell it to any mockup sites of your choice if you want. If something, if that's something you want, you want. Thank you very much for staying with me this long. I know it's been a long and very in-depth tutorial, just as I wanted. I don't want to skip any step or anything. So if you like my video so far, please like my video, subscribe, share, so that it supports this channel. So I'll bring you a lot more awesome, in-depth, and cool tutorials like this one. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.